Saturday, April 21st, 2018. Wow. I don't know what happened, but as you can see, I haven't been in this shirt before in front of you. I have 111 pounds gone now, but it is a XL. Not a 2XL, not a 3XL, 4, 5, or 6XL like I used to wear. This is just an XL and it's not tugging while I sit here and I'm not holding anything in. Believe it or not, I ordered seven of these shirts in different colors back in August of 2016, and I ordered five X's, and they came literally as XL's. The tag still says 5X, but as you can see, they fit as an XL. I have a picture of me with the buttons over here and the buttonholes over here, and I couldn't get them any closer. But I kept them because the hassle to send them back was so bad that I just said, <clears throat> thinking that someday they would fit. Well, someday has come. They fit. Anyway, enough about me this morning. There's a reason for that. Anyway, hang on. We're going for a ride. Today is National Auctioneer's Day, National Record Store Day. Yeah, go down the corner, get your favorite 45, spin it now, and listen to the tune, because the wolf man said so. Got to get them platters or spinning. National Chocolate Covered Cashew Days, National Kindergarten Day. And a shout out to some brothers who, if people would have listened to them, the Tet Offensive in Vietnam would have been a whole lot different. National Yellow Bat Day. You don't know what that is? Look up National Yellow Bat Day. It's the 265 ASA Agency Company Airborne. They were part of the 101st. When I went, it was a different ASA unit, but we were all in the same brotherhood. If you really want to know something about them, read the book Spooks and Spies, and you'll know a whole lot more about the ASA and what we did and didn't do and what we can talk about, but we can't, we can't no more. Anyway, National Yellow Bat Day. It looks like a yellow moon with a bat symbol, like Batman symbol on the front, only this one has eyes. Yeah. Anyway, go look them up. That's today. Quote of the day. If you want to be successful, you need to discover something you're actually passionate about. Johanna Jackson. If you want to be successful, you need to discover something you are actually passionate about. Well, y'all know my passion. Sitting around smoking cigars all day. Ha, ha, ha. Yep. You see, and actually even figuring out other cigars. See if we can get this one right today. Just out on the very tip of the flame. Just that much. Get this puppy, oh yeah, get this puppy re-going. 
Mm-mm-mm. If you do it out there, you're not going to get against the fumes and stuff. But am I passionate? I'm so passionate, I've made my own private blend. Yep, it's a double Habano Churchill with double Habano everything except the wrapper. And the wrapper is Maduro. And then I have a Robusto, double Habano, double Habano wrapper. And that one, see, this was when I was in Iowa. And you got to think about it this way. The Churchill was for the summertime when I could sit outside in Iowa and smoke a seven inch cigar. Now it was seven by uh, 50, which isn't a really big cigar. And that was great for the summers. But when it's O zero zero cold that if you were out in the woods and you took a pee, it would freeze before it hit the ground. You don't want to stand out there for two hours, hour and a half smoking a seven inch cigar. So we got the five inch Robusto. Well, guess what? It works out here in, in Arizona in the reverse. When it's oh, 120, 120 degrees and the feet are, are melting to the floor and the concrete and your butt is sweating. Yeah. And the and, and I mean your butt does sweat, especially on a big guy like me. Not so big anymore. I don't know what the summer's gonna be like with not being so big, but we'll find out. You want a nice shorty so you can be in and out in twenty minutes to a half hour. Five inch robusto. Summer, uh, winter time, when it's nice in the 70s, maybe a little 80s, little 60s, you can sit outside with a 7-inch Churchill and smoke that puppy. That's how passionate I am. I can't go anywhere without finding a cigar guy. I was at car dealership yesterday going through trading in cars, fix it, getting new cars, all that kind of stuff, lowering payments, all that goody, goody, good stuff. And I ran into a hornet's nest of, of cigar smokers. Well, the one guy I know personally, the, the one manager there, and he, he's, he and I have known each other for a while, and he is a... So I had to bring a care package for him, but then I had to bring a second care package for him to share. Because he's a greedy old guy. He don't share much. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that's how passionate it is. It's is. I'm so passionate on it that my wife can even talk about cigars. And she doesn't smoke them. Yeah, she won't even hang out in cigar bars with me. Now, if it was a wine bar... Maybe, but I doubt it. Anyway, or tea. The both of which I don't. I'll drink wine once in a while, but not mine. I'm beer and bourbon, B and B. Now don't get me wrong. I get some other stuff in there too. Just like I had some Smirnoff's spiked spiked water. Good stuff. And some Henry's hard sparkling water. Both new passions because they're low in calories and low in carbs, which is good for me. Anyway, let's get back to the passion and talk about today's cigar Sanzo Panza Double. Maduro, Savante, Sanjo Panso, Double Maduro Savantes. It's a six and a half by 48, and it is delicious. It is made in Honduras. 
It is a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper that is very dark brown, a scuttle brown, and oily. Oh, God, you leave these in the cello too long, and you got yellow cello, fellow. You have the binder is Connecticut shade. The filler is a blend of the dark leaf from Dominican Republic, Honduras, and Nicaragua. And it is an awesome, fired up, it's a great backyard cigar. It's a great work on the yard cigar. It's a great sit by the fire cigar. It's a great cigar just to have any time of the day. It is a medium to full, about a 75 on the zero to 100 flavor list or mild to full. It has a jump out and knock down flavor that you just, you like a medium to full and they get that good mm on the smoke that's really chewy. This is it. it. Has some hints of espresso, dark cocoa, not chocolate, cocoa. And just a hint of coffee and earth. Dirty coffee beans. But it's also a very calming doesn't want to give you a lot of spice bite so it's kind of like a strong one that's like a strong sedative when you use it just <sighs> so anyway it's a four dollar stick about i've seen them 350 i've seen them as high as five but sanzo sancho panza p-a-n-z-a double maduro savantes you need to get yours. If you haven't had it, you need to get out there and smoke it. As you can see how thick the smoke is from it. The genie has appeared. <laughs> Anyway, smoke what you like, like what you smoke, and above all, kick some ash.